Announce your memberships. I am now offering memberships through YouTube. Point out the new join button. I'd like to take this time to point out the new join button. Hey there, papper people. Welcome to my channel, The Lanky Lefty 27. My name's Jason, I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, and my sincerest apologies. We're back for an actual helpful and educational video. I'm sorry. Before we get into this hot topic, please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and please like this video. Why is liking this video important? Well, it makes my loins tingle in the most non-creepy way possible. <laughs> Now this actually is a very important topic. Now many people are extremely, extremely concerned with central sleep apneas. For some reason, everyone thinks they have Chain Stokes respiration. Well, obviously we have a- Chain Stokes. In Lincoln Park, he's climbing in your windows, he's snatching your people up, trying- Chain Stoking. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're- Chain Stoking. Everybody out here. It's like the number one concern or topic I get asked about when doing my PAP therapy data analysis. If you are interested in that, please check it out. It is at axgsleepdiagnostics.com. So when people are reviewing their Oscar data in there, they see that they have a large amount of central apneas. Sometimes it's a large amount by their standards, but really by sleep standards, it's really not all that much. Now I have a patient that I just recently did a pap therapy analysis with, and he was kind enough to let me share his data while I was on the call with him, because quite honestly, it's actually fairly rare and a lot of people don't know what it actually looks like within Oscar. Okay, please stick with me through this clip. I'm gonna insert it right here. But first, I want you to be aware that there are some things that are omitted from the clip that I really wanna clarify. So please stick with me for after the clip. Okay, now I'm recording. Okay, go ahead and share your screen one more time and request remote control. Sweet. Feel free to talk, like I said, if you want or you wanna clarify anything at all, go ahead and stop me, but we are recording right now. Okay, so I'm with one of the patients that we've done an AXG sleep diagnostics review on, and we had some interesting data that he was quite willing to share with me, which is great for everyone in the community. Uh, central sleep apnea is something that's really, really, um, everyone thinks they have central sleep apnea. Everyone, everyone thinks they have chain stokes respiration. That's a really common comment that I see. Um, so what we have here is someone who actually does have chain stokes respiration. So let me walk you through some of what we did. And I will edit all those names that were at the top right there. I saw them. <laughs> so I first saw you, I believe it was, I wrote down December 23rd. Uh, you were on, or that was the day that we, we saw. So everything prior to that, you were on a, a range of five to 10, five to seven, five to nine, five to 10, all those different pressures. And what happened is your pressure was ramping up correct me if I'm wrong, they're ramping up to the point. It looked like, it looked like you may have a situation of over titration. I did a, a video on one of those, those people before they had over titration. It caused, it looked like uh, CPAP induced central apneas, much like this right here. So you can see if you have just one central apnea, or in this case, these are central hypopneas. If you have just one, two, three, really not a big deal. It's when you run across a series of these that last five minutes or more. And you can see this one lasts definitely much longer than that. The whole pattern remains there, uh, more or less the entire study. The only time these go away, or I should say the, the entire recording, since this isn't a study. Uh, it'll last the entire night with the exception of REM sleep, it'll go away. But you'll see this pattern night to night. I mean, every night it's gonna be doing the same thing. So we're gonna call this patient, we'll, we'll call you baby Jesus, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't have to call you that. But, um, what we had is, is this happened every single night. So what we did is we decreased the pressure. We decided to try a trial of trying as low a pressure as we can to make sure that these are not CPAP induced. So we started with five centimeters of water pressure, which is right here. You can see it's fixed. And we had the exact same response. Chain stokes pretty much the entire night with the exception of uh, periods of likely REM sleep. So you'll see up here, the pattern will go away. Most likely this is REM sleep. In fact, that does look like REM breathing where you see uh, rapid oscillations in breathing where then it slows down and you'll see kind of a very much slower waxing and waning, but not the rhythmic waxing and waning that you'll see right here where all these are more or less the exact same distance apart. Uh, this persisted every night. So we're pretty confident in saying that this is not CPAP induced as five centimeters of water pressure is extremely low. So uh, where we are now is, um, Man, I would love for you to share your side of this if you want. <laughs> but where we are now is um, it's pretty clear that there's chain stokes respiration. 
The problem is uh, usually when these are insurance driven, you get a scenario where they're not going to want to pay for an ASV machine just because you said so, just because you said you have chain stokes respiration, they're not just going to fork out like $3,500 to $5,000 to buy a machine for you. They want to do their own testing and any doctor that you go to is going to want to do their own testing in their own lab or whatever lab they're familiar with. They're going to want fresh data, even if you just had a sleep study a month ago. So that's where the problem comes in. So now uh, baby Jesus here <laughs> is going to have to go to a physician. Um, actually, you already did go to a physician and they did say, we want our own, we want our own, uh, our own data. Um, what this is going to show is you're going to fail CPAP again because, I mean, you're using CPAP every night. You have the exact same, we can, we can run through these. This is all of December. We see the same pattern emerging. We don't need to zoom in on all of them, but the same pattern of chain stokes every single night on five, on seven, fairly low pressures. Um, what's going to happen is then they're going to they're going to try you on CPAP in the lab. You'll fail it because you're failing it here. They'll put you on bi level in the lab. Um, they'll probably try spontaneous. Then they'll try timed. Timed is more of a ventilator where it forces you to to inhale and exhale at set intervals. Um, you're likely going to fail that because it's not effective in chain stokes respiration. And then eventually they'll try you on ASV. That'll probably be either two or three studies down the line. Um, and then those settings are so open-ended, it'll, it'll fix you right away. And you'll wonder to yourself, why didn't we just try this the first time? Um, so that's where we are. And you shared with me, I'll share it since you may not want to talk. Um, another physician who is a more of an online physician, you're going to try to work with that person because you do need a physician's um, order or a prescription to get an ASV. You can't just, you can't just get one from us from super tech here, <laughs> but um, so hopefully we'll have some resolution with that. Um, but anyway, I just want to say thank you for sharing your data. Um, so if you are one of those people that has a single central apnea after a single event, don't worry about it. That's not chain stuff respiration. What you need to worry about is when you have them back to back to back throughout the night, every single night. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty clear if you, if you actually have it versus if you don't. So thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. So that is the takeaway. If you have true chain stokes respiration, you're not just gonna have one or two, you're not gonna have a series of three or four, you're gonna have periods of like 10 minutes and more. It's gonna be very abundantly clear that you have central sleep apnea, usually the form of chain stokes respiration. So if you're really, really paying attention, one of the points that was omitted that I mentioned is these are actually central hypopneas. Now, some of the nights he had, uh, he went into periods of central sleep apnea where the breathing fully stopped and you actually had central apneas, but many of his were central hypopneas. Now, how do I know that these weren't obstructive hypopneas? Well, an obstructive hypopnea has a very distinct form to it. So as it's going along, uh, it'll narrow, 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 and then it'll spike up extremely fast because that's the person, their breathing is shallow, you actually have an obstruction, you're finally able to breathe, and then <gasps> you get that really quick burst. Now, a central hypopnea has, the same as a central apnea, is it slowly builds, slowly decreases, slowly builds, slowly decreases as it's moving along. You can also tell by the timestamp. So the, the crest of like the peak, the belly of one wave or of one cluster is gonna be the same distance as the cluster of the next, same distance, same distance. So there's some certain markers and some things I didn't really wanna get into because it's kind of getting into the weeds, but I just wanted to give a brief overview right here, right now. So the question of, do you have chain stokes respiration or central sleep apnea? The answer is probably no. However, if you do truly have chain stokes respiration, it's really not the end of the world. There is treatment for it, and that is in the form of an adaptive servo ventilation, otherwise known as ASV. All right, now if you'd like to have a pap therapy analysis with me, please check my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Check the description box down below for ways you can help this channel out. And please leave a comment for me in the comment section down below. And lastly, thank you for watching. No matter how much pain I'm in, no matter how hard I try to run from the truth, I am still a thick boy. Sick it out. Even white boys got the shout. Baby got back. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks, buddy, to Alan Liu, Stuart Heffington, and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks, buddy. Oh my god, I hate this feeling. I feel like I left something out of this video. And I'm gonna remember it the second it uploads. I should really write these thoughts down as I have them.